everyone. I welcome you to PYQ Microanalysis Series for NABARD Grade A Phase 1 ARD that is Agriculture and Rural Development. We already covered the microanalysis for animal husbandry and now we are going to cover the microanalysis for next important part of this level that is agronomy, meteorology and seed science. Okay. So we know uh, in ARD we have to attempt around 40 MCQs and out of 40 MCQs, you can expect around 8 to 10 MCQs, that is around 20 to 25 percentage of weightage from this part of the syllabus, okay? So yes, this is major and important part of syllabus. So before going forward, let's discuss the official syllabus provided by NABAT in its last notification for agronomy, meteorology, and set science. So the syllabus is talking about the agriculture, the definition, the meaning, its branches. So definition is really important part of the syllabus. Please do not miss single definition from this part, okay? So yes, definition of agronomy, scope of agronomy, classification of field crops, then agroclimatic zones, then cropping systems, definition, types of cropping systems, then problems of dryland agriculture, the seed production, seed processing, seed village, then meteorology, weather parameters, crop weather advisory, and the last, precision farming system of crop intensification and organic farming. You can see direct MCQs on these concepts which are mentioned in the syllabus. So this also indicates the importance of syllabus, right? You have to cover everything, every keyword included in syllabus. So yes, this was the syllabus which was provided by NABAR in the last notification. So yes, let's now uh, go through the PYQs for the last four years. So in 2024, first question is a scientific name of barley. Here also in 2023, the question is in a scientific no name. So if you are an agriculture student, it is easy for you to identify and eliminate the options uh, for the scientific names. But if you are a non-agriculture uh, student, so I don't want you to stress yourself out on the scientific names and variety for the technical part. Uh, just cover the uh, scientific names and varieties which are in news and uh, which are like important like uh, rice, wheat, these are the basic crops, the rose, basic uh, horticulture, basic vegetable, basic uh, sugar crops, okay, cover just basic crops and the uh, names of the uh, names and the varieties of the crops uh, which are in news, okay, just cover those. There is no need to cover every single scientific name and every single variety for each crop. So there are, this is how I want you to cover scientific names and variety well apart. Next question is example of uh, which of the following is example of artificial ecosystem. This is a part of ecosystem environment ecology. So yes, agriculture is the uh, artificial ecosystem. Okay. So here, okay, here is a trend or here is the uh, one thing I want you to observe. In 2021, the question was on a puddling, the basic puddling definition or the concept. In next 2023, the question was on a objective of puddling. So you can see the evolution, right? Now first the basic, then the objective, that is the conceptual part, right? Again, the basic of mulching, the basic definition of mulching, and the in next year, the objective of mulching. So likewise, what you need to do is anything which is there in the PYQ have both basic and conceptual understanding of on those topics because in the next year, they might ask the conceptual questions like objective, the principle, merits, demerits, what is used, what, like why, what, where, etc. will be asked in, uh, might be asked in that uh, on that concept okay so take example uh, this agriculture intensification organic farming precision farming these are the terms which are directly mentioned in the syllabus and in uh, the next coming years they might ask question on like what is what are the principles of uh, organic farming what are the pillars of organic farming then what is the actual concept of precision farming so you need to have a conceptual understanding on these concepts okay so yes this is what i wanted you to understand and observe okay so next is uh Okay, there is a point in the syllabus that is classification of field crops. And we classify field crops under different headings based on different criteria. Okay, so according to cropping cycle, we classify the crops uh, into three types that is Khari, Prabhi, and Zed. And let me show you how you can use that knowledge here to solve these two MCQs. So we know that the cropping or growing period for uh, Rabdi season is around November to October, November to Feb March. So we know the production cycle period or growing cycle. And we know that after production cycle, there is going to be marketing. So the question here is that marketing season for Rabdi. So the end of Rabdi season, that is Feb March, will be the starting period for the crop marketing season. And this is how you need to use your knowledge from static to solve this application kind of based question. So yes, again, the same for the Southwest monsoon period. You know that the most of the curry crops are dependent on the southwest months for irrigation and water requirement. And we know the period for curry is around June, July to September. And the same is going to be the period for the southwest months. So this is how you need to use your knowledge from the classification of field crops. Again, the legume powder, legume powder, which of the following is 
they're looking for so based on the use we classify field crops into uh, cereals pulses commercial sugar forage and under forage you will see this legume fodder wala classification okay again which of the following is it belongs to millet so again this is from the classification of field crop so the thing the one thing we identified here is the there are question repeated questions from the classification of field crops uh well the syllabus one so yes you need to go through that point also next is the floating weed the okay as i said definition is really important they provided definition and asked you to identify which weed they are which aquatic weed they are talking about so the answer was a floating weed likewise there are other two classifications uh, that is submergent and emergent aquatic weeds so uh, in the next uh, year they might ask the questions on other types so just go and cover those types also next is dew point the, again the definition was given uh, for the dew point and you needed to identify which phenomenon or uh, what uh, terminology they are talking about so the answer was the dew point but in the uh, options the question uh, the other options were dry bulb and wet bulb okay so now it is your duty to go one step ahead and have understanding of the peripheral concepts around the dew point okay the related concepts or the uh, other related concepts under the broader heading of weather forecasting so yes uh, everything which is mentioned even something is mentioned in the option that becomes important for the next year of uh, year there could be a question on that particular option in the next year so please do not leave anything any word from syllabus any word from pyq even if it is a option okay so yes that is what i wanted to say next is the seed classes okay this everything highlighted in yellow is the part of the seed classes this is really important part you can uh, the question can be from the progeny the purity percentage and the color talk tag of that particular seed class so yes next is this seed dormancy wala part from the seed science here in 2021 the question was on stratification concept from seed dormancy in 2023 the question was from scarification and here the cryosphere solution used for the seeds that is liquid nitrogen so again the concept or uh, the thing here repeated is the seed dormancy okay so go and cover that next uh, uh, here the green the this is from the agronomical measures for soil and water conservation again the cropping system wala part as i said this is again the important part okay cropping system and its type you need to have understanding the conceptual and both basic understanding of the types and different cropping systems okay so sequential mixed every year there is one question from the cropping system so yes again the farming systems like uh, organic farming then precision farming uh, then dry land farming there are different agro farming systems as well just you need to focus on those so yes uh, from here what we can conclude that uh, the broader topics which come from where the questions are coming that is classification of field crops then cropping system farming system then seed classes seed dominancy and uh, yes the branches of agriculture yes 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 uh, again the important part here is the branches the pink part there are different branches of agriculture they are going to give a definition again and you need to uh, you need to identify which branch they are talking about it is really easy and simple uh, you can do it it is really easy okay so just go through that so here are the broader headings from which the questions are coming so the special agronomic practices key features of uh, different crops cropping system pattern farming system then uh, agronomic measures for erosion prevention then dry land agriculture then agriculture revolutions then weeds then agroclimatic zones then scientific names headquarter important days then varieties then meteorology and seed classes seed domains these are the broader headings and uh, from which the frequent questions are coming okay so yes let's uh, discuss the themes or what you need to cover under those broader headings from agriculture operations uh, like you need to cover the different agriculture operations like thinning gap filling tillage uh, uh, then there are different tillage concepts okay so just go and cover those then rogging cropping 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 is uh, followed in banana sugarcane so likewise you need to also have a look over the special agronomic practices which are particularly followed in that particular crops so, okay that becomes important like paddling and transplanting is learning only paddy so that becomes important so yes uh, cover those and then the key features of uh, particular crops like oil if we know oil seeds uh, are we most of most of the percentage of oil seed we import so uh, that is kind of always in the news and uh, important so they ask the oil percentage in a ground so we know ground it is a economical part of or what we are getting from ground it is oil okay so uh, they ask what is the percentage of oil we that we get from the ground so likewise you need to uh, cover these key features for the particular crops okay so yes next is branches of agriculture branches 
as I said, this is easy. You can go and cover. The definition will be provided and you need to identify which branch they are talking about. Next is uh, types of cropping systems like mixed, intercropping, sequential, relay, alley, multiple. You need to cover the different cropping systems. Then different farming systems like subsistence farming, shifting, organic farming. Then natural farming is a hot topic. Zero budget natural farming, pillars of natural farming, permaculture like this. You need to cover different uh, farming systems. Then there are different model farming systems like hydroponics, aeroponics, vertical farming. Precision is again hot topic. Cover the precision farming, climate uh, resilient agriculture and etc. There are different concepts. Have a conceptual understanding and the definition wise understanding of these things. Okay. So yes, next important theme is erosion preventing agronomic measures that is uh, contubanding, strip cropping, mulching, etc. Et the question was like objective of mulching. So what they want? The conceptual understanding. Yes. Next is uh, dryland agriculture. If you have gone through the men's 2024 paper, there was 10 mark a question on the dryland agriculture. So the question was right short note on dryland agriculture. So yes, uh, along with the rainfall ranges for each uh, classification that is dry rainfall and dryland, you need to have other uh, related uh, understanding like challenges, different crops which we use, the techniques which we use to just uh, have a good yield. Okay, and in that particular uh, drought condition. So yes, uh, this is again the theme. Next is agriculture revolutions. There are different agriculture revolutions uh, and you need to focus on the associated product. That is in green, green revolution, what we are covering in the uh, white revolution is related with which product, the personality is associated with uh, that particular revolution. And yes, likewise, you need to cover the uh, agriculture revolution. That is again, important thing. Next is weed, as I said, aquatic weed, floating aquatic weed was the question in the 2024. So just go and cover the submerged and emergent weeds and some basic example of uh, those weeds, okay? And just go through the basic classification of weeds. Next is the agroclimatic zone. This 15 and 20 number is again important. That is uh, the number of agroclimatic zone according to planning commission, number of agroclimatic zone according to ICER. And in that particular zone, uh, just uh, have a look over the major crop, okay? Major crop and the soil type. For example, they could ask the aloe soil is found in which zone, the uh, wheat rice cropping pattern is followed in which zone, etc. There will be questions. Okay. Next is scientific names, variety centers, its headquarters, agriculture, important agriculture days from last uh, three, four months before exam. Then father of different brands like father of agronomy, father of soil science. There will be there'll be question on these uh, static and factual based part of the syllabus. Okay. So yes, next is meteorology weather forecasting. There are different types of weather forecasting, long, medium, short, no casting. So what is the period for that uh, forecasting is done? On what date uh, forecasting is done? Like this question will be there. Then the different atmosphere layers, the, which of the following layer is the seat of, called seat of weather phenomenon. Ozone is found in which layer? Then, then weather elements, then precipitation types, rain drizzle, the size of drizzle, size of hill, size of sleet. Then there are isotherms like isobar, isohide, isotherms, and there are different 10 to 12 terms uh, of uh, with, with name ISO. So go through those terms. Then there are different instruments. And as I said, there was a question on viewpoints. So go and have understanding over other related and peripheral concepts around the viewpoints, okay, uh, which comes under the weather forecasting, okay, metrology. So yes, next important theme is, as I said, seed classes, you need to cover the chronology, that is, which of the following is progeny of what class, then the label of, uh, label tags, the color tags of each seed class and the purity percentages, okay? So yes, next is seeds, next and the last one is seed dormancy. Uh, this is the part which is again repeated in, uh, in the PYQ. So go through this part, that is stratification, scarification and cryopreservation. So yes, these are the important themes and this was it for the microanalysis.